Hi, I'm Jan from NTP Technology. Today in this video I will talk about how you get started with Deadman software. The Deadman software is used to configure and operate the DAD AX32 and the Penta 720 and 721S. So the Deadman software is available both for Mac and Windows. In this case here I'm using a Windows version, but the Mac version is identical. First thing when you get the Deadman software launched is you will have a big screen like this one here. First step is to go to settings and device list. The device list will show you all DAD and Penta products which are on the network. In this case here we have three different units. We have a Penta 720, we have an AX32 and we have a MOM which in this case is designated as a 710. If you need to change the IP address of a unit so it matches the IP address on your computer, you can simply go in and right click on the unit and select network settings. You can either choose to set it to obtain an IP address automatically, so that is the HTTP assigned IP address, or use a fixed IP address. In this case here we will just use a DHCP assigned address as we have a server on the network. Once I click OK, the unit will reboot uh, so that it can actually uh, get the IP address assigned. If you should come into a situation where you do not see a unit on the network, you can always click on the refresh button. So in case you do that, the Deadman software will scan the network and check whether there are any new units on the network. So now the 720 has rebooted and you can now click on it and select the unit. You can select any unit or multiple units and control and configure these at the same time. In this case here I'll just take the 720 and use that as an example. When I click here I will get a full overview of the configuration of a unit. So there is a main board with a firmware version which in this case here is 2321. There's an AD mic line card in slot 1, a Dante card in slot 4, SDI card in slot 6, and a DA card in slot 7. So this gives you a very good overview of how your unit is configured. One of the very cool things about the Deadman software is that if you have a Dante card or multiple Dante cards, you can actually set the IP address of those cards from the Deadman software. Once you have selected the unit, right click on it, choose network settings, and now you will see that on the right hand side here you have a section called Dante IP Audio. You can go in and select which card you want to configure if you have multiple Dante cards and then go down here and assign the IP address either to be automatic or to be a fixed IP address. You can also set the switch mode whether it's switched or redundant mode as well. This is a very useful feature as uh, it makes it easier to configure all the IP addresses in the unit including of course the Dante network. We'll click OK. Now once you have selected the unit you also have some other menus here. Network second settings has been covered. Restore defaults is basically that you can restore the unit to factory defaults. Restart is as the name applies, restarting the unit without removing power. Recovery mode is a feature which is mainly used if a firmware download fails, then you can actually enter recovery mode. So this should generally not be used. Upgrade is when you need to install a license to upgrade with some features. Uh, if those are not already installed, then you use the upgrade feature. And finally, firmware update, as the name implies, is a update of a current firmware. This is covered in a separate video. Once you have the unit selected, or maybe multiple units, you can simply close the window. There is a lot of different settings. These will all be covered in different videos that you can find on our website. Uh, but the most important thing right now is that you can go up here and save your settings. Now when you change any setting in the box, for example setting a cross point, that is written and saved automatically in the unit. So you don't necessarily need to save those on your computer because if you restart the unit those settings will actually still be saved in the unit and recovered immediately. But if you want to keep a backup of those settings you simply go up here and you say save 
and for example select a file or a new file and then you can save that. That can be particularly useful if you need to change between two or more configurations that you can have some predefined settings, uh, whether it's for stereo work, surround work, different routing, etc. etc. So those can quickly be saved and reapplied. This is how you get started with Dadman software. Uh, we will cover more details in other videos that you can find on our website.